She's up in the tree. OMG. <gasps> okay. I won't panic. Hi there. You like it up there? Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy squad? How you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. My boy squad, we just got in from a whole day of shopping in Manila for furniture. Lots more. Look, we got Ido Kish, Kenneth Kobunpoi pieces, Kenneth Kobunpoi, more Ito Kish, more Kenneth Kobunpoi. Good evening, Ate LC. <laughs> There's RJ getting straight to work. This is his thing. Look at this beautiful console table piece. It's called Peacock. Is it called Peacock? Yeah. Newly installed light. Guys, look, we bought pillows. I really love these Kenneth Cobbon play pieces. They're like cranes, but they reminded me of egrets, which we do have on the farm. We do see them outside. So I figured, hey, let's get this. You're supposed to put fake plants into here and it's supposed to kind of look like that. Cute, right? Guys, let's see our children. I miss them today. Hey, birdies. Yes, you guys are getting ready for sleep, huh? Hi there. Hi. Did you guys have a good day? Did you eat a lot? I hope so. How about you guys? Oh, beautiful conures. Yes, crimson belly. You guys getting ready for bed? Yeah. Love our children, guys. Can't wait to let them out tomorrow. I still have to decide who I'm going to let out of their cage tomorrow to enjoy the aviary. Should I continue to let out the blue napes, continue with their training, or let out the confident ones, the crimson belly conures? Still gotta decide. Wow, this one has gold legs. Of course. Sweet. That's gold right. is everything, as RJ says. Look at how beautiful this console piece is. Each of these doors open and it's great. Maybe this is where we could store our slippers for our guests. Guys, more Kenneth Kobunpoi pieces. Kenneth Kobunpoi, Kenneth Kobunpoi. This is all Kenneth. Oh guys, this is a new stool. I gotta show this to you. It's awesome, it's for outdoor. And this is what I'm gonna use in the aviary. Isn't it beautiful? It's uh, weatherproof too, which is awesome. So I could actually keep it out there, but I needed like some seating when I'm out there. This is perfect. And then I can store stuff, probably the hose I'll put in there. Guys, look at this piece. It looks like armadillo skin. Beautiful, it's a lamp. Guys, look at this. I don't think I ever showed you the final look of the dining table. See, it's our 14 seater dining table. See that? Doesn't it look nice? We were waiting for these side chairs, which apparently are different from the head chairs. If you look carefully, it's a different color, and these ones are a little higher than these ones, but same company. And of course, more gold. <laughs> I love the banana leaf table-like base. Isn't that nice? Cute, right? Man, I can't wait to have family and friend dinners here. Yes. That right there, Mabu High Squad, is the final look. Ah! Oh my, oh my, like that? Oh wow, oh my, it does look stunning. Only, I can only do a full body check here. <laughs> it's okay. Wow, that does look really cool. But it's not cool. Really, really love it. Oh, and the Kenneth Cobbon Pui piece goes right on top. Look at these chairs, guys. These chairs are called Yoda by Kenneth Cobbon Pui. Aren't they cool? They're made of like bamboo. It looks like rattan. It's cool, right? Oh, it looks so cool. Like dragon scales. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of like a pangolin or again, like armadillo or something. Now these colors were chosen by Kathy C. King, our interior designer. Looks interesting. All right, Mabu High Squad. So here's the deal. I have family coming to visit and stay over uh, this weekend. So we're really trying to rush, like 
getting as much furniture as we can, preparing the guest rooms. This is gonna be fun. I haven't seen these family members for a long time. It's been years. So um, I'm really excited for them to be here. You guys will meet them soon. Um, but we still have to like finish and clean up. There's a lot of work we still need to do. Guys, look at this beautiful Kenneth Coburn Pui lamp. You guys gotta see this. When I saw this, I was like, this is the most beautiful thing ever. It's like a bunch of people cooperatively helping to lift each other up to carry this lamp. I just love what it symbolizes. It symbolizes teamwork. When I look at this, I think people supporting each other, cooperative effort. It's just such a gorgeous piece. Um, and then guys, look at this. This here is another Kenneth Coburn Poi piece, and it's a cake stand, but it's not just any cake stand, it's a cake stand with golden ants on it. Isn't that cute? See, look at that, golden ant. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And it's ants and gold. So you're supposed to fill this with water and then you put your sweets, cupcakes, cookies, cake, up on here. And then here in the Philippines, ants are everywhere and they tend to get into your food and sweets especially. But if it's filled with water, then chances are the ants can't cross it and your sweets stay ant free. So this could be outside, at a party, or even just indoors. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? <laughs> we saw it and we're like, we're getting it. See, cute, right? Guys, here's the China room. Yes, and I'm going to unbox the wines that we bought, stocking up on red wine. I'm going to stick it in our wine cooler, yes. All right, guys, ooh, love it. Finally stocking our wine rack. I don't, should I start at the top, middle? I don't know. In case you guys didn't recognize, we built the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse to host. RJ and I can't really enjoy all of this stuff if we don't share it with our loved ones, you know what I mean? We, we can enjoy the stuff on our own, but it's just so much more fun when friends and family are able to also enjoy the fruits of our labor. You know what I'm saying? And I cannot wait for my relatives from Canada to come, honestly. It's gonna be awesome. Do you guys agree? Sharing is so much more fun. Sweet! RJ bought a bunch of red. I think tomorrow we're gonna buy some rosés and some white wines. Oh, but this is perfect. And everything's gonna be kept at 18 degrees C. I love that we have a wine rack now, like a wine chiller. We don't have to stick our wine in the fridge, which is what we've been doing. Yes. Oh, this is so convenient. Uh, love that. Love organization. Awesome. And done. Yay. That was so fun. Guys, we're debating where to put these Kenneth Coburn play chairs, Yoda chairs. RJ thinks one should go here. See? There will be another pot here. There will be two plants up here. And then one here. I mean, there are so many possibilities. And we actually walk for, through here, through this door, from the van, if we're entering from the side. Good morning. Morning, birds. Did you sleep well? Guys, today's breakfast is awesome. Look at that morning chop. See? There is Swiss chard. Kale, there is alfalfa sprouts. These are stuff that they've never had before. Yes, guys, lots of goodness. Hot peppers, mung bean sprouts. Feast, my dragons, feast. Sprouted grains and seeds. There you go. Feast, feast, my dragons, feast. And on the other side, in case, any of them get chased off. Go ahead. 
Here's breakfast. I think these two birds are freaked out by the workers. Um, I think they don't recognize them. You know, it's amazing. I do feel like these birds have good face recognition. Like they know if these are new workers. And I think these birds are just being extra cautious. You can eat. Don't worry. They, they are our friends. See, they're like totally not paying attention to me or their breakfast. So smart, you birds. This female here don't care. She's like, I'm eating. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> this female actually, I think, is the bravest. If you remember, when we let the birds out, she was the first to venture out of the cage. Look at that, guys. They are loving that healthy morning chop. And it's like all diced and sliced up in the food processor, so it's easy for them to like chew it up and swallow. Yummy, right? Ooh. <laughs> I'm really, really loving watching them eat breakfast. It's so satisfying. All right, so clearly these birds are not comfortable with those new workers working so close to them. So I was going to let these blue napes out um, of the cage once again this morning, but my fear is if I do that and you know they haven't had breakfast, they will definitely fly away. <laughs> just simply because they're not comfortable. Um, and when the birds come out, I want them to be like as mentally stable and comfortable as possible. Just to avoid any like crashing into glass, crashing into aviary, obstacles, that kind of thing. So, hmm, should I let these birds out? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway, this is good exposure to strangers. It's okay. I just want them to know that they'll survive if some if strangers come relatively close. However, I don't want to completely condition the fear of strangers um, out of them because in case, worst case scenario, they manage to, I don't know, fly out of the aviary or away from this house. If they're out in the wild, say, I don't know, we leave a door open or something then I want them to be, you know, afraid of people because someone will definitely catch them and keep them as a pet and then they won't be able to come back to us. I'm pretty sure at least one of these six birds will be super tame and will like land on me and, and possibly do the same for strangers, for our guests who come in here. I bet one of them will be super tame and that way our guests can enjoy the birds as well. I wonder who it would be. Would it be Ruby? Hmm? Or would it be one of the yellow-backed females? This one here? Would it be you? Will you be the most tame? I am really loving this chair here. It kind of just blends in with the background. When I'm not using it, I'll probably stick it, tuck it away right there. But it's so convenient that I have a place to sit and watch the birds. Okay guys, so this here is the seniors room. This is where my Tito and Tita will be sleeping. It's here on the first floor. That's why we call it the seniors room so they don't need to climb the stairs. Right now they're setting up the bed frame. Guys, wait till you see this bed frame. It is awesome. And then they are also finishing the final touches in the bathroom. And guys, so all of you who follow our travel vlogs, you guys know that we've been to many, many resorts, right? Um, and we have, over time, been able to learn and study the different ways in which guests are welcomed uh, when they come to the resort. And so many times I'm thinking, oh, I wanna do this for our guests who come to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. So guys, this is our opportunity now to apply what we've learned from all of our world travels to these resorts. So, um, one of the plans I wanna do, of course, welcome drinks. Gonna have that chilled and ready for our guests when they arrive. Um, and a whole bunch of cool other little, little details that, you know, make a big difference. That's what I wanna do when the guests arrive. We're testing all air conditioners to make sure they're working. And guys, these air conditioners are so strong. Even one of those 
floor type air conditioners over there just having that on makes the entire first floor pretty cold we were told that our units would just make the place just comfortable right but no having just one of these floor type <laughs> air conditioners on makes the first floor nice and cool and pretty chilly now guys i don't know if you notice this oldest female here the one closest to us if you look under her eye she's got a bald patch see that um I think she's molting, but I'm keeping an eye on that. Her feather quality isn't the best. She came to us like this, but I'm hoping it goes away over time. Are you gonna eat already? Huh? Oh, this is the, this is the female. You already ate. I think she wants to check out the other bowl. It's the exact same food. <laughs> this one is the most confident, I find. Yes, you're so beautiful. Uh huh. You gonna show your flock mates that there's nothing to be afraid of? They're just working on the mirror. Oh, guys, look! They have installed the LEDs. Sweet. I think there are a couple places missing. Oh no, they have to fix uh, some of the alignment. But look, that looks sweet. All right. Now these LEDs will have some kind of motion detection, I believe. Um, we have to talk that over with our smart system provider. But isn't that cool? It's a safety thing. Sunlight is now streaming in. Yes. So I'm changing their water now. Um, but look at what happens because of those banana leaves, I guess. Um, water, rainwater drops off of those and into their water bowl. Um, and if they actually ingest this, this is actually like drinking bird tea in the wild. Um, birds drink water off leaves, in puddles, in little like holes in trees. And the water oftentimes is tinted like this. Um, and what causes these tints are like random nutrients and components in the leaves and the wood of whatever is exposed to the water. And it's nutritious for the birds. I mean, assuming it's not a toxic plant. Uh, and that's how these birds get a lot of micronutrients, just from licking water from leaves and in puddles, right? Where like dead leaves fall into and they decay. So the birds are actually drinking banana leaf tea, right? But I gotta change this because it's also um, an open invitation to bacteria. But it's cool that they get to have bird tea. Fresh water. Yes. All right, birds. Here you go. They think it's food. You have food still. This is water. They're gonna probably bathe in it too. Ah. And of course, we humans can benefit from tea as well. Um, I've got an infusion of butterfly blue pea um, flower. There's peppermint in here, lavender, and hibiscus roselle. Lots of good antioxidants, nutrients, micronutrients, all that good stuff. It's actually better to get your micronutrients and vitamins through natural sources as opposed to taking a multivite like a pill. I do take pills like um, a multivitamin pill, I take calcium. But the body absorbs it better if it's from like more natural sources. Cheers, my boy squad. Yes. To tea with the birds. Ah, so good. Hi, Theo and Curly. Yes, from Life Smart, the uh, smart system company that is powering our home. Uh, what we've decided was we're going to have sensors here and sensors up there sensor there and the sensor at the top so they said it will be really complicated if each step had a sensor so our options were to either light both flights of stairs this one and this one at the same time the moment someone steps right there or have this one light up first and then the person can go upstairs and by the time they reach here the second flight of stairs will turn on and also 
backwards. And I think that's what we're going with. It just, it seems cool, right? When you step and it goes boom, and then you go up there and it goes boom. I think that'll be cool. So guys, here is the entertainment room. And I love looking at the aviary from the back. It looks so beautiful also from the side. Gosh, what a sweet thing. I am so grateful to have this aviary. Ooh, guys, I am liking that lamp here. The Kenneth Kobunpue lamp that I showed you yesterday. We just put it here because we, we didn't have anywhere really to put it yet. But it's looking kind of neat there. And RJ says he likes it there as well. We uh, are buying light bulbs to install into there. Oh, there is a light bulb. Let's turn it on. Oh, sweet. Oh, it looks so cool here. I love it so much. What do you guys think? Cool, right? It looks so cool. Yeah. RJ likes it here too. You like it here, right? It's cool. And then you can place food here. Oh, so cool. Happy accident, I guess. All right, I caught the birds eating. But every time I come into the aviary, they come. Is it because you guys are expecting to be let out? Hmm? Should I let you out? See, look at this one. This one's still chewing. But as soon as I came in, they stopped. You guys want to be let out, huh? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let them out. Let's, let's risk it, all right? Let's continue with your education. There. Now one thing I realized is instead of opening it wide like this because they had troubles going around, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I think that will be easier for them. Also, I'm thinking of moving this cage decor closer to the side. There. So now you guys have a little something to grip on. That needs to be, this needs to be washed. There you go. Oops, let's see if I can modify this to make it easier for them to grip. There, right? Oops, OMG, she totally flew out and she's going back in. Awesome, confident bird. It's good to know that they can get in from the bottom of the of the aviary. I'll leave this open for you guys. Okay? Feel free to emerge. You've done this before. All right, guys. Target training time. They see the target stick. I've got a target stick. Yes. You know how this works. Come on. I got a treat for you. Come on. Of course, the yellow backed female is totally ready. Here. Come on. Good bird. All right. Here. Good bird. Awesome. Okay, how about here? Come on. You got it. Good bird. Here she comes. Good bird. Awesome. Okay, how about here? Can you make it here? Here she comes. Good bird. Yep. The birds are still quite freaked out about these new workers. All right, come. I'll work with you, yellow-backed female. Good bird. There you go. Here. Good bird. <laughs> Just trying to get her used to like being in close proximity to this cage toy. This cage toy, is something they're completely familiar with, but when it's in this configuration, for some reason it kind of makes them freaked out. But it's just a matter of like getting them to 
acclimatize to it. And target training is a great way to do it. Is that too steep for you? Okay, how about here? Just gonna do a Batman. You know, if you grab onto the rope, it's okay. The workers won't hurt you. They're distracted. Usually, you would do target training when there, are, there aren't so many distractions. But target training is also a good way to get their mind off something that is potentially scaring them. Um, and gets them, it diverts their attention to something else. Come down here. She's gonna try to find her way down. Come on. Good bird. There she goes. She got it. Oh, here. Almost. At least she knows, see, we got her to perch on the rope, which is key. Now she's gonna go down the rope, and she's emerging. Oh, almost, it's an awkward there. Down a little more, yep. Here you go. Let's let her regain her bearings. Good bird. Very good bird. You did it. OMG, my boy high squad. Look at what just happened. She flew out of her cage before I could press record. She literally flew from the rope to my arm. Here you go. Here. There you go. Yes. Oh, you are so sweet. Yes. Mabuhai Squad, we have earned our trust with this bird. You are so gorgeous. This is amazing. She's so gorgeous. The other two are no longer caring about the workers. They're like totally intrigued that their flock mate is on my arm. You know, you guys could join too if you like. I think they're gonna try to come out. Yep. Wow, what a breakthrough. You see Mabuhai Squad, slow and steady wins the race, especially with birds. Okay guys, she ate the whole walnut. I don't have any more treats. So I'm gonna try to put her back. Go ahead. Um, OMG, what do I do? Ow, she's biting my arm. Ow. Here, wait. She's like, I want more. Ow! Don't do that. Ow. Here, back, back to the cage. I have to be, come on. Back to the cage. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave. Here. Go back. No, not near my face. I'm not ready for that step. Go. Good bird. Oh my gosh, my boy squad. We did that. We just did that. I'm gonna go get more snacks. Oh, I think she wants to come back. Wait, I'm not ready. Oh my god. My boy squad. I just got back from getting seeds. And look where she is now. It's like, where is she? Where did she go? Hmm. And then I saw her. She's up in the tree. OMG. <gasps> okay. I won't panic. Hi there. You like it up there? Is it cool? Oh, wait a sec. Is that you? Yeah. She's up in the tree. Hi there. Would you like to come down? She's like, oh hell no, I love this tree. Here, I've got some more snacks. I've got more snacks. OMG, Mabuhai Squad. She is up in the tree and she is working on destroying this branch. <gasps> Whoa. I think her flock mates are mind blown. OMG, okay. Now she's in a place we can't get her. We have to depend on her to fly down. She's gonna be up there for a while, something tells me. Oh, she's eating the dead leaves. Okay, that was a living leaf. She's like, wow, so many things to destroy and chew. <laughs> oh, there are some ants there, weaver ants. But I took out all the weaver ant nests, so let's see. Hopefully they leave her alone. 
Oh my, Mabuhay Squad. I cannot believe she is up there. All right, guys, I've got some sunflower seeds, which are their absolute favorite. And she is totally ignoring me. Oh, indeed, Mabuhay Squad, I can't believe it. Don't tell me she's gonna be up here for several days. I've got sunflower seeds. Nope, she's like, I want plants. I wanna destroy this tree. I mean, she's happy. Oh, there she goes. Here, land on me. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, she landed on me from the treetop. Here you go, have some seeds. Oh my gosh, my boy squad, she did it. Oh, this is, ow, you're biting me. Have some sunflower seeds, you deserve. Ow, not my hand. Sunflowers there. Oh my god. Wow, my squad, wow. I'm in awe at this bird. This was crazy. Honestly, I'm in literal awe. You should have seen the, I couldn't get it on cam. She flew down so gracefully and like made sure the perch on my arm was perfect. You are a very good flyer. Oh, and I would have loved to see how you ascended up into that branch. Oh man, guys, these birds are learning super fast. Seriously. Okay, I think that was enough for today because Ate June is coming. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put you inside for now. Please step up. Oh my gosh, my arm, this was a bad, okay. Step up, good bird. OMG, here you deserve these sunflower seeds, honestly. And she came back for the sunflower seeds. Here, you want some? Oh, uh, would you like some? This is the fearful one. Would you like some sunflower seeds? Go ahead. Look at the shy one approaching ever so cautiously. I think the birds watching their flockmate land on me and interact with me and feed from my hand is making the others trust me more. And they love sunflower seeds. So I don't give it to them often so that I can keep it high value, like a high value treat. Ah, go there, okay. Hey, I was giving it to your shy flockmate, Oh, And she's laughing. All right. Guys, I think we're earning the trust from the flock. Wow, what a mind-blowing experience. OMG, OMG, that was so cool. My wife thought that was so cool. The, the, birds la the bird landed on me. She flew up to the tree, up there, and then landed back on me. <gasps> My boys, bro, that was so cool. I am so happy. Oh, you see, all the days and weeks and months of target practice, really, it like sinks into their brain. Like the moment they see this stick, they'll be like, oh, food. And like enforcing it with the clicker. Oh, that was the coolest thing ever. Guys, if you're not a bird person, it's this awesome feeling the moment a bird, which is usually afraid of everything all around, comes to trust you like that breakthrough moment when you realize the bird sees you as a flock mate and not as a danger and they come and land on you and stuff that is the coolest feeling ever so cool and i didn't hand raise those birds they were just like they were raised at the breeder so you know what i mean and they came here i was a complete stranger a couple months ago but oh that is amazing. And the bond is just gonna keep getting stronger. I already see that the other two birds have been watching and um, they're taking notes. I know this. We saw that shy one slowly approaching me to take the seeds. So that is an awesome sign. Was that not the coolest thing, Mabuhai Squad? I love that I got that on camera because I'm gonna continue watching this vlog over and over again just so I could relive that moment. Oh, but when the bird was up in the tree though, guys, I was like, O-M-G. Will this bird ever come down? Who knows? Ah, oh, but the thrill of it all, yay. Oh my gosh, guys, I am bawling my eyes out. 
because not because I mean that moment in the aviary was beautiful, but uh, seeing the bird up in the tree reminded me of Ligaya when I used to take her out in the guava tree. Oh, like nostalgia of seeing Ligaya, my late African great parrot, up in the guava tree. That's what that reminded me of when uh, I saw our blue-naped parrot in the tree, chewing the leaves and all of that. Because, and I'm sad because Ligaya would have loved that aviary. That aviary was actually for our African great parrot. And in case you're new to these vlogs, she passed away during the pandemic. Uh, from a digestive nervous disease um, we still don't know how she got it and they're still learning more about this disease called PDD um, she could have had it at birth but sadly she passed away and seeing that bird in the tree reminded me and us right Mabu High Squad you guys came with me and Ligaya on our walks around our neighborhood and she would always fly to her favorite guava tree and chill there and just looking back at the footage of the blue naped parrot in the tree totally brought me back to those days and those happy memories. Oh. Hi, Billy. I think he's looking at us. Hi, Billy. You see me? <laughs> he's itchy. Look at all this food that he can graze on. Crazy. Again, I keep saying this, but I think it's time to get Billy a friend. Oh my, what is all this? Coffee table, oh! For our, our For our masters. Oh, and here. Okay, awesome. Is it another Kenneth? All Kenneth. Guys, we kind of went all out with the Kenneth Kobonfue and the Itokish. All right guys, this is gonna take some time to set up, but for sure, in tomorrow's vlog, you guys will see the final look of, well, pretty much the first floor and even our master bedroom. Oh my gosh, look at RJ taking it up the stairs. This has been such a long vlog. Once again, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for joining us for today. Wasn't it awesome what happened today? I'm still mind blown, guys. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit that like button as it would really help us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. It really means a lot to us that you guys are following us on this crazy bird journey, home building journey, journey of life. Um, love you guys so much. And so if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you guys in the next vlog where we complete this house and prepare for my relatives to arrive. <laughs> the best. Bye. Mm -hmm.